Hey guys, today I'm going to a guitar store in London to find out which is the best beginner guitar currently. I'll be ranking the guitars based on their price, playability and sound. I've never been to this guitar store before, so I'm very excited. Okay, we're here in Epsom Guitar Guitar. So as someone who started with the Strat, I'm just looking at different brands to see if anyone who's inspired by like a Gretsch, for example, if there's actually an affordable one for beginners. So there is this pink one I'm looking at for 329. Now that is quite expensive compared to, for example, the Squire I started with. There's also this one I'm seeing, which is 199, but it is also pre-owned, so. Beginner. Might be why it's so cheap. Why? This is nice and crack in the back. There's a crack in the back. But is that like purely aesthetic? Like it's not gonna. Yeah, I mean it won't affect the guitar, no. But I mean it's a bolt-on construction, so it's super cheap to make. It's made in Indonesia. Um, it's quite simple layout. I mean it's literally just like two pickups. This is like a master volume that's controlling both. This is probably a tone. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean it's a really nice. I mean, it's a nice finish to be honest. It and like, nice. It's kind of got that kind of classic vibe. It's got these kind of old like, type electromatic kind of pickups. They're not going to be super like high out, but they're going to give you that kind of like classic sort of 60s, 50s sound, I guess. Yeah. So if you were into like, I don't know, the Beatles or any of those kind of bands, yeah. like, this would probably give you like a great sound for the money. Like, and it's kind of amazing that they can make these guitars for as cheap as they are. That's so. awesome, yeah. Oh, yeah, so. the Yamaha's specifically, yeah, definitely. Like, they're a great workhorse and they're a great style of guitar. I mean, if you want like something like like a Strat, yeah. but, you know, there's a little bit more cheaper and stuff, they, they're a great, a great entry level. So this one is like the cheapest one here at the moment, the yeah. Yamaha Pacifica, and that is 260 basically. Standard. Okay, uh, humbuck on the bridge, just give you a bit of gain and stuff. And then, yeah, These are always coil. quite versatile as well because you have got the single coils, but then you've got like the humbucker yeah. in the bridge, so it's a good choice. Yeah, yeah, so these are kind of again that kind of like strat like shape. The, the, the Ibanez stuff tends to have a different kind of sort of neck, you tend to get like quite a thin, like D shape, so they're kind of quite good for like if you're into more kind of shredding playing or more playing where your thumb is up on the top of the neck. Nice trim system on this. So yeah, again, bolt on construction, Squire stuff, yeah. which is the affordable like range of Fender things, the Squire Sonic stuff, you got Affinity, and then you've got the classic vibe. The Sonic stuff is the very, very lowest element, normally between like 150 and 200. Then you have the Affinity stuff, which is slightly better quality, around 200 to sort of maybe free. Yeah. And then you get classic vibe stuff. Oh, this is the East Coast, that's only 99. Yeah, the East Coast stuff is probably the most affordable stuff we have in the shop. That's wow. the only guitars, electric guitars I'd say in the shop we have for less than a hundred pounds. Awesome. Oh, and they've got a telly version as well. So we're gonna plug into the Boss Katana amp. Let's have a set of four guitars which are the cheapest and most affordable ones here made for beginners. So we're going to be testing this East Coast, Squire, Ibanez and a Yamaha. Okay guys so this one is £99 and this is the East Coast electric metallic back card. I'm 
Okay, so I didn't think I would enjoy the sound and feel of this as much as I did because the, it's literally £99. But I'm not even finding any issues with it. The neck is really comfy, the frets, you know, smooth, nice. Pickups sound great. So I'm gonna rank it out of 10 in the categories. And then I'll do the rest of them and see which one comes out top. So I'm gonna rank this one 10 out of 10 for price. Um, seven out of 10 for sound. And six out of 10 for playability. Like the neck is a bit chunkier, whereas the other one was really thin. Okay, so you kind of like the basic butterscotch color, telly. <laughs> Comfortable as you get like further up the neck. The sound is really good. Um, I feel like it's nice and thick and not too thin. So I'd give the sound like a seven out of ten. Playability also a seven, and the price like a six out of ten. So this is the Ibanez Geo. Smooth. Especially up here as well. It doesn't feel like you get stuck like on the other one. So price, I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. Playability is seven and sound a five. And this is the Yamaha Pacifica. So this is the most expensive of the all. Than sound, so I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10 for sound, 7 out of 10 for playability, and 5 out of 10 for price. <laughs> So my personal favourite was the Yamaha Pacifica, but I mean they're all great, like I can't say oh this one was really bad because they all had good qualities about them. So let me know what you guys think, which one do you think makes the best beginner guitar and let me know if you try any of them out in a guitar store.